Hello everybody and welcome to the biology department. Many of you already take higher biology and will have some idea of what the biology department's like, but I hope in this video and short presentation that follows to give you some more information about advanced higher biology, uh, whether or not you want to take it, uh, what sort of questions uh, you have will hopefully be answered in this presentation. Uh, we'll give you a little bit of detail about the staff, um, about the course and the expectations. Okay, and of course, if you have any other questions, you know where to find us. So just to give you a little bit of information about the staff, uh, three of us, myself, Dr. Brennan and Dr. Denheen, have all got PhDs. We all have expertise in different branches of science, molecular biology, physiology and pharmacology and neurobiology. All of these really stand us in good stead when it comes to the advanced higher projects and, and the course itself, of course. And then there's Mrs. Bain, our technician, who is, uh, I think, the best technician in the world, or uh, arguably. <laughs> and uh, certainly if Mrs. Bain doesn't know something, then she will do her level best to find out about it. Uh, she's a fantastic asset to have when it comes to the projects, and, and students work very closely with her. And here we are, in the flesh, so to speak, all with our musical tastes well on display. Uh, no idea who Brittany is though. So just to give you a little bit of information about the actual course itself. There are three units in advanced higher biology, cells and proteins, organisms and evolution and investigative biology. So cells and proteins and organisms and evolution uh, are, are whole units but investigative biology is only half a unit and the other half a unit is taken up by the project. And in cells and proteins, it's very molecular in, in detail. Uh, we really look at the structure of proteins in detail, how proteins interact with one another, how proteins interact with cells. Uh, we look at uh, hormone action, uh, nerve transmission. Uh, we look at cell death and apoptosis. Organisms in evolution is much more to do with animal behavior, sex determination, uh, in inheritance and evolution adaptation and then uh, we have a really nice little chapter at the end on, on parasites. The investigative biology unit is, is much more to do with the project so the investigative biology and project really go hand in hand. It's, it's a, a very important part of the project is to prepare well and the investigative biology unit really helps to prepare you for the project. It, it runs through all of the different criteria where you'll gain marks, where you lose marks. So it's very important. The project itself uh, runs really from the end of August until the, the end of March. You're thinking about the project really as soon as we start the course in, uh, in August and preparing, deciding which topic, which title you're going to do, uh, thinking about the introduction, the materials and methods, starting to liaise with myself, Dr. Brennan, Dr. Denheen, and also uh, the, the technician, Mrs. Bain. The project itself is is demanding. You will you will find it hard work. Uh, it, it will take up quite a substantial quantity of your time, particularly when you're you're doing the the actual practical part. But it requires an awful lot of preparation. As I said before, the more preparation you do, the the the, the, the better the foundation you have for your your actual practical work, and especially for the write up, because the it's the write-up that gets marked at the end of the day. So the more preparation you do for that, the better. Uh, it is fun. It's enjoyable uh, to a certain degree. 
you'll enjoy the, the interaction with the, the rest of your, your colleagues, the interaction with your with the staff, each each uh, group of maybe four or five pupils will will be given a mentor, either myself, Dr. Denheen or, or, or Dr. Brennan. Uh, this year it's really been myself and Dr. Brennan that have been taking the course, uh, but it really depends on the, the timetable. But all three of us will normally be involved in advising students on the projects uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And also, of course, there's uh, Mrs. Bain, who takes a really active part in, in helping out in the projects, clearly, uh, so be nice to her. You will develop lots of skills, lots of skills of inquiry, logical skills, logical thinking skills, organisational skills. Uh, you'll understand much more about why you need controls, how to control variables, um, and this ability to interact and to work with other people, which is also so important. But having said that, you, you will develop as independent workers, as independent researchers. You need to do so much of this on your own, <coughs> which will be tremendous preparation for university, where uh, you will be working effectively, uh, uh, completely independently. And at the end of the day, when you write up your project and you submit it, there truly is a real sense of achievement in that. So here's some nice project pictures, some nice pictures of the students as they actually were carrying out their projects, taken by Mrs. Bain. So there's Kira working on a microbiology project. She's very happy. She must have got a good result. Uh, here she is hard at work uh, using good aseptic technique, I see. There's Alice down there, uh, working away on her enzymes project and dancing. Uh, Dylan, preparing his plant pots. Uh, he was looking at, I think, the effect of heavy metals on plant growth. And here we have Ashley looking at her, her Daphne. Uh, I'm hoping that they're, they're growing. She seems very happy too. So you can see from the picture that there's a wide variety of, of projects, uh, from plants all the way through microbiology, uh, your normal kind of enzyme reactions, that there are hundreds of projects to choose from. Uh, and it really depends on what you're interested in, what's feasible, can be done, um, and, and uh, we will try and advise you to the best of our ability. So to try and maybe answer your questions about, well, what careers could you go into having done advanced higher biology? So th there are the obvious ones where you can go into the medical industry, veterinary science or dentistry, biological research, or even the pharmaceutical industry. Um, and even if you're looking at the medical industry, for example, or biological research, there are so many different branches in there uh, that uh, this just really opens up a massive field of possibilities for everybody. These are just a few other ideas that, that sprung to mind while I was preparing this this presentation but to be fair there are there are, there are very many more uh, possible career paths that you can take with a biological degree uh, or, or a, you know a qualification in advanced higher biology and indeed it doesn't necessarily have to be in a, a biology connected career path there are very many uh, courses and careers which really highly favour uh, students who have a degree in, in, in biology. They appreciate the logical thinking skills, the, the organisation and management skills that they've developed in their undergraduate course and many of these students will actually go on to do to have a career in accountancy or, or business. This is just a, a website which you can access and explore. I think it's got something like 96 related careers in biology, so it's worthwhile looking at. So I thought I would just end with a few student experiences uh, from, from previous years. Uh, these are personal experiences that, that the students are, are giving. So I hope that you've enjoyed the, the PowerPoint and, and my stuttering along here. But please let us know, come and see us and ask us any questions that you have or, or send us a, an email 
in these lockdown times and we'll be absolutely delighted to, to respond to you. Uh, so, and, and I wish you good luck with everything. Hi, I'm Ava. I lived in Alwishes in 2019 and I'm here to chat a bit about advanced higher biology. Uh, I took the subject in S6 mainly because I was applying to do dentistry at university, so I thought this would uh, be really useful for that, but this is um, relevant to any science-based degrees that you guys might be thinking of doing. Uh, I found that the topics studied were actually really interesting, so this made it uh, much easier and more enjoyable to study for in the long run. Uh, it also offers you the opportunity to carry out a project uh, which you can choose uh, the topic for and um, this also requires a lot of independent work and independent research uh, which actually stands you in really good stead for university. Um, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed advanced higher biology and I would recommend all that are considering it to, to take it. I took advanced higher biology in order to expand my knowledge of topics of interest that were only briefly mentioned at higher, for example the structure of proteins. But what I found is that the things that were most interesting were the topics not covered at higher, for example, animal behaviour and evolution. Advanced higher biology is a challenging course, but you would definitely enjoy it, as it answers a lot of questions you may have left over after higher. I would definitely recommend taking it next year. I chose advanced higher biology as I have always enjoyed biology throughout school, and this gave me the chance to further my knowledge and expand on some topics covered at higher, while also covering new materials such as parasitism. Also, studying biology this year has given me good prior knowledge for going to university and will be beneficial to me in my future studies in medicine. Unfortunately, we weren't able to complete the project this year, which is something I was looking forward to, but hopefully if you decide to take it next year, you will get the opportunity to work independently, doing research and experimentation on a project that you have selected from a large range based on personal interest. Hi, my name is Mbikwa, I'm in S6 and I take advanced higher biology. I initially chose this subject because I was interested in learning more about the works of the body in humans and other organisms. And it would give me the opportunity to apply to several courses in higher education. So far, I have learned much more in a wide range of interesting topics, from the life cycle of a single cell to the branches of evolution. And although my year did not get to do it, I'm sure the project would have been a great experience to learn new skills and conduct an experiment of your own choice.